Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to today's video. Today, we are doing a 100K challenge. This is Rafa's women's 100K. I know it's a women's one, but Jason is tagging along with me. I know it's Rafa's 100K challenge. However, we're not wearing any Rafa brand clothing. I'm actually wearing my Pactimo jersey, the summer weight one, and Jason is as well. Although my base layer is by Rafa, so <laughs> I guess that counts for something. So we're just gonna call it 100K, also known as about 62 and a half miles of riding. And it's not gonna be too, I mean, We'll have some hills here and there, but uh, nothing too extreme. I tell you, I almost did not get to do this ride today. I had some issues with my shifting on the road bike and uh, thought it was the chain because my chain did need to be replaced. It wasn't the chain. Then I thought perhaps maybe it was the cables. So I replaced the cables yesterday, um, or the day before I mean, and I was still having issues. Um, took it to the bike shop, and thankfully it was actually a quick fix. The thicker end, I don't know, it looks like a, a cylinder end of the shifting cable actually got caught inside the shifter and so the uh, bike mechanic had to fish it out and to make room for the one that I had already put in. We saw flat that that is taken care of and that will do this ride. So. I think Joy already talked about the ride that we're doing today and uh, I'm looking forward to it because we haven't done a road bike ride together in a couple weeks and uh, haven't done a long one since our century ride about three weeks ago, I think three weeks ago. Looking forward to a nice solid ride today. Beautiful day. Joy's feeling a little off though, so I'm not sure um, what's uh, what's going on. But she was feeling a little nauseous at the beginning of the ride, so I hope that certainly hope that that gets better. I want to talk a little bit about my first 100K challenge. This was about two years ago, and I did it because it was I think a week or two weeks after we came back from our Zion. Uh, National Park trip in Utah and where we did a 30 mile mountain bike ride which took about six hours for us to do um, and I had I got the idea of doing a hundred K because I estimated it would take me approximately six hours as well so that was my very first time actually doing a long ride that was my first long ride and I was solo it was um, it was humbling. Um, I definitely had a lot of fears. I still do have some fear riding solo, but that first one, I really wanted to um, get my feet wet and see, really kind of face my fear. 
and uh, I planned out this route that goes from New Milford all the way up to Millerton, New York, and taking the Harlem Valley Rail Trail back. So that was about 62-ish miles. Well, it was challenging. Um, it was somewhat fun. I was more afraid than anything, but it was challenging because I didn't have a head unit like a Wahoo or a Garmin computer on my bike. I was using my Garmin watch, which had some mapping capabilities, but it's not as sophisticated as my Wahoo. And so um, that made for, I didn't get lost, thank goodness, because I studied the route, but that made for an interesting 100K solo ride. It's actually a pretty nice day today. Um, it's a little on the breezy side, um, but I think we can manage. Uh, so there's, we are riding through some headwind. Huh, I don't know, where should we get, which, which way should we go? I guess we can just, the gate, yeah, we have to go through the gate anyway. Gate's closed. And like Jason said, I, I am feeling kind of off today. Um, not sure, it's been a while since we've ridden the road bike. We've been doing a lot of mountain biking and so um, maybe I went a little too hard in the beginning there, uh, which kind of threw my system off. So hopefully it's just that and it's not anything else. I mean, I, can, I still can smell, I can taste my food, uh, it just seems as though I was feeling a little off in the beginning, um, but hopefully we'll make it through. I'll make it through the rest of the ride. Um, this is all familiar routes that we've ridden through, uh, nothing special. So with that being my first long solo ride, um, I did have a lot of fear. Um, I was definitely afraid. Uh, I didn't know what problems I may come across riding solo, like a flat tire or something wrong with my chain. Like I actually, at the time, didn't even learn to change a flat. So I was, in the back of my mind, I just crossed my fingers that that wouldn't happen to me. And I remembered, I also didn't know how to take care of my drivetrain, like my chain, um, my chain rings, like cleaning the jockey wheels and everything. Oye, como va? So I didn't really know how to do any of that. And I remembered when I was riding, I had three, uh, the, a three by chain ring. So I think it was a 50, 39 and a 20 something 28 I think was the smallest chain ring and an 1128 cassette and it was an eight speed and I still didn't know how to use the chain rings properly and and one of the climbs that I did it was short and super steep and uh, I was on my 39 chain ring just grinding away and I remembered I got a cramp on my uh, I think it was my right quad uh, at the top of it I used my bottle to 
to uh, relieve the cramp. So I kind of took my bottle and pushed down on the muscle that was cramping. And then there was another sheet, uh, short, steep climb that came up. And uh, I remembered accidentally shifting to my smallest chain ring. And I didn't realize, oh, it makes it easier to go up the short and steep stuff. So after I found out that that's what the small chain ring does, I like use it every time. continue with that story of uh, my first 100k that was my first time learning that I had three additional well three rings to choose from that definitely saved me towards the end of the ride um, but I continued on from there and I reached this small little town called Millerton New York and it was uh, there was some traffic um, and cars were nice enough and kind enough to give me enough room. I stopped at this cafe and uh, to get something to eat. It was like avocado toast, and it took like a good 30 minutes to get my to get my toast. I don't know what happened. They were, I guess they were just really busy, and uh, I just really didn't feel like I, I didn't even get to finish my toast. It was um, maybe it was something. It maybe I craved sweets more than. Then toast, and that was another thing is I didn't realize that um, carbs were how much carbs can help you throughout your ride. So uh, yeah, that was my second or third lesson on uh, riding so. fall is upon us. I could see some of the leaves have already fallen and uh, the, some of the trees are actually changing color now. So yeah, I guess it's just right around the corner for us and sooner or later it'll be uh, winter riding. That means riding indoors, which I personally, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of dreading that one now after having done a couple of indoor rides uh, for the past few years. Um, I'm not really looking forward to doing indoor rides in the winter. I'm hoping that there is a possibility to do mountain biking in the winter. I have looked into tires that have um, spikes on them. So I'm hoping that that would work, um, you know, during the winter. Otherwise, it'll have to be indoor training. So to continue on with my 100k ride, I left off, I believe, where I thought I found out that I had an extra chain ring that I can go. So I actually utilized that throughout the steeper t parts of the climbs. Although by that time, after I stopped at the cafe and got something to eat, um, I was I was able to hop onto the Harlem Valley Rail Trail, and that is really flat. So I actually enjoyed myself through that until I hit more roads where there was some climbing. Because I went solo, Jason was not able to ride with me and he had an injury. I think he had knee surgery at the time, so he wasn't really able to do much of anything. Um, so, but I did have him. I remembered uh, I would call him often at every stop just so to let him know where I am and how I'm doing. 
and uh, I, it kind of helped me. It actually was um, also my mom's birthday at the time, and I remembered because I called her to wish her a happy birthday while I was riding, and I had like earbuds, and I was talking to her on the phone, and I remembered her asking me, "He's like, why does it seem like you are? It's really windy over there." And I had I, I had to tell her that huh, I was riding. So one thing that I've been trying lately is to ride more outside during the week. The weather has been so nice here that I just wanted to, to take advantage of it. Typically during the, the weekdays, I used to ride indoors on Zwift and uh, do workouts and uh, you know, normally I like to do uh, structured workouts and training plans, but I just decided to take a break from that stuff for a while and just just get outside and enjoy the, the nice weather. So what I've been doing is um, doing shorter rides, you know, an hour, an hour and a half outside before work. And um, it's been working out really well and, and really fun. It's, uh, it's totally unstructured. I just sort of do whatever I feel like doing that day. And, um, you know, that's, that, that kind of gives me like a feeling of freedom that I don't always have you know, when I'm doing uh, structured plans. Um, so for the time being, it's, uh, it's really fun. I was talking about the chain earlier and how, whoops, somebody cutting the grass. I never, when I did my 100K, I never serviced my bike at all. And so what, I never used lube. What I used was whatever that was lying around in the garage. And that was, WD-40 as chain lube, which is not a good idea. Okay. Because I was using WD-40, all this gunk would get caught in my chain. And so my chain was so black and had all this gunk on there. So I looked at it and I thought, oh my gosh, this is not, <laughs> this does not look good and I had to find a way to, to clean it. I knew it didn't look right, but I didn't know what it should look like. So I wound up getting a new chain after that ride. Nothing happened, nothing bad happened to me on that ride, but, um, you know, had I continued to ride with that chain, it would have snapped at some point. Hey, listen up, I've tried to tell you this a hundred times. Not getting better by lying there, pretending to cry. You all repeat, you can see, cause you have closed your eyes. You say you listen, but you miss it. are 45 miles into the ride and with 2,800 feet of climbing. Um, this is a uh, kind of a flatter route than we normally would take. Um, probably not a good idea for me to be sitting on the road here, but I need a place to sit. Oh my gosh, I have all these mosquitoes. That's it for the uh, story of my first 100K. I if you guys attempt your own ride, whatever distance it may be, if you're riding solo, uh, it's one of those things where, um, you know, you, you definitely face your fears 
and there's a no I know there's a ton of things that can come up as you are riding things that could potentially you know things that could scare you like a broken chain or a flat tire um, but just know that if you somehow prepare for it um, if you have the right contacts if let's say you get lost or something does happen to you um, just have a person ready uh, if there is somebody available to help you out if you get stuck or stranded somewhere yeah I hope that does help you in uh, you know stepping stone to getting into cycling and oh my gosh I'm getting devoured by mosquitoes um, anyway hopefully that helps you help helps to inspire you to kind of uh, do your own solo ride or just to face your fears of riding uh, by yourself uh, face your fears of uh, things that could come up in your mind, those mind games that tell you that you can't do it. Um, and you'd be surprised. You will surprise yourself at the end at how much you can accomplish. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I am, oh my gosh, these mosquitoes are everywhere. So we just got home from our ride and uh, looks like it's about 63 miles so it should be just enough to cover the 100k that Joy needed for her challenge. Joy wasn't feeling great today um, but she hung in there like a trooper and uh, I'm proud of her for uh, getting this ride accomplished. Good thing we turned the AC on before we left. I'm gonna go in the air conditioner and get some cold water and uh, protein shakes and whatnot and uh, and uh, have dinner later and relax. Well, I hope all of you out there are enjoying your rides and until next time, continue to enjoy the ride.